Today we're doing something a little different. We're going to be running down our top five competitive games for couples. But to do that, I'm going to need a little help. Hi everyone, I'm Brittany. I'm Mark. Welcome, Welcome to, to Board, Board Game, Game Coffee. Coffee. As I mentioned, we're going to be running down our top five competitive games for couples because here at the Board Game Coffee household, we tend to be a little competitive. I really like the idea of being able to play a game and win and then have bragging rights for the rest of the week. And I just like to crush Brittany whenever I get a chance. It, it was a hard list to make. Very hard. So we've narrowed it down to the five competitive games that we've been playing the most lately. So our number five competitive board game for couples <laughs> is... Letters to Whitechapel. So Letters to Whitechapel is a great game. And it actually plays up to what? Five? Five players? Six. Six? Six What's players. It? Two to six players. Two to because six there's players. Five police. Oh yeah, there's five police. So in this game, I'll, I usually play Jack the Ripper while Brittany plays the... The five policemen. Yeah, so it's great because one person can control all five policemen, or you can have five other players chasing Jack and each of them control a cop. Yeah. Which is great. And I like this game because I like to get really competitive. So I get out sheets of paper and I'm strategizing and I'm counting every single move that he makes. And I've won a couple times. I'll give it, Brittany's probably the best Jack the Ripper hunter I've ever faced playing Whitechapel, so I'll give her that. She's probably beat me more times than I've evaded her. Um, now, in my defense, I don't know if actually this is a defense, but I've gotten to the last night and I just get really cocky. I'm like, you're never gonna catch me. And I'll literally and then I catch him. <laughs> deliver myself to her. So <laughs> that's on me, but it's also not to take away from your deductive reasoning, She's really good at this game. I'm strategic. So Letters to Whitechapel is our number five, and if you're a couple out there looking for a competitive game, this is a great choice. All right, let's see what our number four is. So our number four is a deck builder that we like to play competitively. And as a new person to board gaming, I really, really, really like deck builders. But one thing I've got to say about this deck building game, it's probably got the worst title for any deck building game we've ever played. <laughs> and that game is... DC Deck Building. It's actually the DC Deck Building Game. Oh, that's true. I'm not even sure it's called DC Deck Building Game, because the DC is more just like a logo on the side. DC Comics? It just says Deck Building Game. Like, if you flip it on the side, it just says Deck Building Game. It's Regardless, a, it's a really good game. It's a good game. <laughs> Horrible title. I would think that a uh, company who's known for creating superheroes and all these fantastic stories, that they could come up with a better name than just deck building game. So if you've been following any of the DC movies and you're really into Wonder Woman right now, there is a Wonder Woman character, Spider-Man. Oh. Get out! Get out! <laughs> Super in. Did you hear that? Super in. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. <laughs> we are a comic book household and we hold Spider-Man in high regard and the Marvel Universe uh. and DC as well. But we are a Marvel people. <laughs> Anyways, now that that's over with. We can't keep that. It's drama. We have to keep it. Let's leave the superhero naming to me. So this game came out a while ago and it's a great competitive uh, two-player deck builder. Mm -hmm. Actually, how many... Up to five players. Yeah. But it works great with two. It's really easy to pick up and play. And um, personally, I, I love playing it. I really like this game. Uh, or This is actually one of the first games that I played being introduced to the board game world and deck builders. So I really liked it because it was easy to follow and I could get into the game really fast. Now, I think Brittany would agree with me, but we're bigger. F this is a great game. We love this game. Yeah. But... We prefer Marvel Legendary. Yes. It is competitive, but at the same time, it's cooperative. So yeah. I don't know where that game would fall. Because you have to work together to win. Yeah. But at the end, the person with the most points wins or is the biggest winner. So it's not put into this top five because it's not strictly competitive because you have to work together. Whereas yeah. this one, you're completely it's on your own and you're against the other exactly. player. Exactly. It's all about me crushing Britney. What uh, what's cool about this is you get to play a bunch of different heroes. So you do get you get a card 
uh, that'll be like Green Lantern, Cyborg, Batman, Superman, etc. <laughs> and each of them have a special power. So, for example, she might be Wonder Woman, I might be Superman, and there's a benefit that we get that's unique to our hero. And uh, it really adds a neat little dynamic to the game. So let's see what our number three is. Okay, let's move on to our number three. All right, so our number three is... I think it's our newest game on the list. It is. Yeah, it's the newest game we have on the list. We really like it. We just got introduced to this game Maybe recently. a month ago? Yeah, a month ago. It came out last year? Yeah. Was it debuted at Gen Con? I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, we don't know the details on that. But our number three game is... Photosynthesis. This is a beautiful game. We love it. I agree. It's a really pretty game and it's how many players can play this thing? It's two to four. Yeah. And it's super easy to learn. It's so strategic. It is. It's really strategic. It's um, it's definitely easier than chess to learn. A little harder than checkers. <laughs> yeah. But you really need to know, you know, where has your um, opposite player placed their tree? Where are they? Where's the sun going? Where are you going to place your trees? Because you have to block the sunlight so that the person you're playing doesn't, they're not able to grow their forest. Yeah, because the goal of the game is to collect more sunlight than your opponent. Yeah. And then spend that sunlight to grow more trees. Yeah. And this is another game that uh, Brittany beats me more often than I do her. I've actually I only won all the time. I've won one time. And now, the one thing that baffles me about this game is that I try my damnedest to block Brittany's trees from collecting sun, but somehow she still manages to get more sun points than me like every turn. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but clearly I am not good at this game. And I'm not gonna tell him what he's doing wrong because then I continue to brag about how good I am at this game. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our number two. All right, so our number two game on the list is also a deck builder, but it's got something a little extra. Blank. It's a deck building adventure game. And this one is so frustrating for me. I can't seem to win this game as much as Mark. Clank is a game that has tested the limits of our relationship. What I like to do, and uh, I recommend you do this to your partner, <laughs> is <laughs> beeline it to the store and buy all the keys. It's so frustrating. It's so much fun. It literally makes me want to flip the board game when he does this. I don't know. Let us know in the comments below if you've played a game like that where you just, you get so frustrating that you have to walk away because if you don't, you're gonna flip that game. Watching Brittany struggle through the dungeon because I bought all the keys that lock her out it's of all the secret passages is the highlight of my day. All the emotions are actually coming back to me right now. It's worth losing. <laughs> and uh, again, another game we recommend, our number two, highly recommended. Yeah. We get a lot of play out of this and a lot of frustration. And one thing he does do for this game that drives me up the wall, even if we do play with other players as well, is he will actually, if he's losing and I'm winning, he will make so much noise so that the dragon kills us both because he's already going back. I think that's fair. If I'm going to lose, I'm bringing everybody down with me. It's so frustrating. That's a great tactic. Ah! Okay. Put it down. Put the game down. Let's go to number one. I'll start number one. Our number one competitive game for couples that will test the limits of your relationship so true. <laughs> is... Tiny Epic Galaxies. I love Tiny Epic Galaxies. It's such a good game. Brit Brittany's never beat me at Tiny Epic Galaxies. I've beat him once. That never happened. You know what's great about this game is if I play last, then I get my last ups if I'm the second player. So we've had some great games where Brittany's in the lead. She's all cocky. She's all confident. Totally. She's like, I got I've got time. this. <laughs> and I get one more turn. And on that turn, he screws I'm me over. colonizing planets. I'm just going to town on this universe. I think I'm just too nice. So there's some cards that you can actually, or planets that you can get that have well, a they're little cards. task. Cards count. Yeah. That has like a little task that you can take away points from your the other player. I'm too nice. I don't like to do that. I he am not nice. He loves to do that. I to and do I always that. feel bad about it, which I shouldn't anymore because we're competitive. Yeah. But there's still like a little part of me that feels bad. I don't feel bad at all. Um, yet another game that we've, I was gonna say we've come to blows. We haven't come to blows. 
we've come to emotional blows. Yeah, this, I've had to walk away from the table from this game as well. But it's great. It is great. It's so much fun. And we love the size of this game. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we play this game so often, even though I lose so often, why it's still one of my favorites, is I love the size because we can travel with it. It's a must. I don't think it's an expensive game to buy. No, either. it's probably it's, around it's, twenty-five or thirty more. I don't know. Actually, I, I bought this a while ago. But it's very strategic. <laughs> um, so yeah, Tiny Epic Galaxies, a must-buy if you're a couple looking for a good competitive game to play with your partner. Agreed. Agreed. Excellent. All right, so that's it for our top five list. There will be more. Uh, if you like this video, please let us know in the comments and we'll make more. If there is a specific topic you would like us to cover, let us know in the comments. And if there is a top five games that you play with your partner or spouse or, or just a friend, let us know in the comments below too because we would love to know what other games people are playing. We here at Board Game Coffee are putting out videos weekly every Thursday at 6 a.m. on our YouTube channel. So if you want to keep up with that, subscribe here. And if you want more videos right now, click here. And if you want even more Board Game Coffee content, follow us on Instagram for daily updates. So I'm Mark Maya. And I'm Brittany. This is Board, Board Game, Game Coffee. Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be, be social. social. See you next week.